Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's Head Shave. And, in my opinion, holiday of the day, try a new soap day. That's right, today is try a new soap day. If there's a shaving soap out there that you've not tried, but you really want to give it a shot, and you know what? Grab it, order it, borrow a sample, or grab a sample from somebody, and give it a shot, because you know what? Half the fun of wet shaving is trying new stuff, right? Speaking of which, Here's the soap. Chiseled Face. Chiseled Face, as you folks know, I've tried a few things by Chiseled Face, and they are, in my opinion, one of the most underrated soaps on the market. But this one, Sherlock. It's kind of a tweetish scent. I say ish because it has some other supporting scent notes in it, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, let's talk about the gear. We are getting into the mother load knot for the brush in my Superman EB Lathe Works handle. Razor for the head shave. Gem, Micromatic. A little bit different on those things because they're a single edge blade and they use one of these. You can see it's a little bit different. Also looks like one of the utility blades that you buy at the home improvement store. However, I do not suggest getting one of those blades and shaving with it. Now, to go with the soap, I do have a sample of the Sherlock Aftershave right here. So, uh, I smelled a little bit. Uh, the aftershave earlier today smelled pretty good. I really like it. It does have that slight tweedish scent to it, and it's a little bit mentholated, which, as you folks may or may not know, I do like menthol. All right, so we go ahead and bloom up the soap here. We're going to go ahead and uh, load our blade into our razor, and while we're doing that, take a look at this. Sherlock Holmes was a character created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and first appeared in A Study in Scarlet, a detective novel first published in 1887. Holmes was known not only for his investigative skills, but also for his signature pipe, deerstalker hat, ulster, and cape. The tallow-based 4-ounce offering comes in a plastic container with a screw-top lid and is currently available at westcoastshaving.com for $14.99. Sherlock, staying true to its literary nature, also has a partner. Its aftershave is slightly mentholated, but the scent matches the soap perfectly to complete this dynamic duo. These unique combination of notes in this soap were created by the folks over at Chiseled Face, as its owner Ron Weeb has a love for the novels of Sherlock Holmes. He had always wanted to make a soap that paid homage to the infamous sleuth. The scent game is afoot, as the warm tobacco-based scent opens with almost a sweetness of the mandarin and honey, then the toasted caramel, black pepper, and moist dirt take the helm, all guided with a touch of leather. The supporting notes of rose and moss are undetectable by me. The aroma creates an image of wearing a tweed jacket sitting in an old dusty library with the windows open during a cool rainy afternoon. The soap hit the shelves in 2015 and ranks number two in popularity with the company's current lineup. Should you include this in your current shave soap lineup? Elementary, my dear wet shaver. Elementary. Why not? Okay, folks, as you can see, we are back, and it is loaded, rocking and rolling, ready to go. I thought that loaded pretty well, and there's actually way too much soap in that. But, you know, whenever I do a profiling of a soap, and especially a head shave, where I use more soap than normal, say it's on my face, I like to load the crap out of it. So this is way, way, way overloaded, but that's okay. I barely made a dent in the puck at all. So, uh, in fact, there it is. You can still see it's all kinds of nooks and crannies in there still so all right as far as the ease of loading goes I had no problem with that whatsoever it took about 30 seconds to a minute um, I just threw in some water and let it go to town I have never had any issues with any of their soaps I never have any problems with loading or lathering them and you guys can check out some of my other reviews on some of their other products in my channel bar none I mean, you guys can grab any soap from them as long as you like the scent. You're going to have no issues with shaving with it. Speaking of shaving, we have our razor loaded, ready to go. I take some of this hair off on the side. I know it's difficult to see in the camera, but believe me, there's plenty of hair. I feel like a Chia Pet. So, let's get this stuff lathered up. 
and go for the shave. We'll see you guys and girls will post shave and talk about the rest of this soap. gentlemen that is the shave as you can see dop status dome of perfection no nicks cuts any areas of irritation smooth as glass now it's time for the post shave throw on some uh witch hazel just for a little bit ago off camera so now we're going to go ahead and throw the uh aftershave on see what we think of that as far as the scent is concerned for the soap i have no complaints at all it is a nice tweed scent uh the soap itself um, lathers just like any other chiseled face soap. Wow, this stuff, <laughs> this stuff is awesome. It, it, you know, it's got the aftershave has the same type of scent as the soap, but it's a little sweeter and not too too much menthol either. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this. I highly recommend this one. If you're looking for a soap to try from Chiseled Face and you're having trouble figuring out which one you want to give a shot, try this one. I definitely recommend this. Or actually any Chiseled Face product. They really, really do well. And, uh, you know, a shout out to westcoastshaving.com for helping me out with this. So I appreciate you uh, with the soap for me to review. So there'll be a link to both Chiseled Face and West Coast down in the description below. So, as I said before, that is the shave, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or comments about this soap or any product that I've reviewed, please put it in the description or the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get that ticker going. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so, but make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a new notification every time a new video, and we do a new video here at CD Shaving. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.